Hey guys, today we're gonna to make stuffed mushrooms. This is always a favorite. I hope the taste testers are going to like this. I'm pretty confident that they will. Here's all the ingredients. Let's get into it right now. I always like to go over the ingredients. I always tell you, I hope it's not formulaic, but I really do think that this helps you uh, make, make the dish the best. I have 24 ounces of mushrooms, so one and a half pounds. I just have an assortment of white button mushrooms and baby bella or, you know, cremini. They're the same mushroom, they're just different colors. Around the holidays, they will have the stuffing mushrooms, which are the same as these, they're just a lot larger. But right now I just couldn't find them in the store. I actually do kind of like the smaller ones just because I like the contrast of like the large ones and the little tiny ones like this. This lemon is just a lemon for garnish on the side. So I just cut, just sliced it up. This is all of our stuffing mixture. So we have basically a little bit more than a half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, five eighths exactly. So that would be a half cup plus two, two tablespoons. Right here, that is three quarter cup of the stems. I just cut off the end part of the stem because sometimes that cut area is where it will get hard and very woody. And no matter what you do, it'll have a bad texture. So I recommend if the mushroom is, feels a little off there, like a little tough, just cut that little bit off and then save the rest. That's three tablespoons roughly of lemon juice, six cloves of garlic minced. That's a lot of garlic there. It's gonna be really good in this. Uh, if you don't like garlic, just take it out. That's it. You don't have to tell me that it's too much garlic. Just take it out of yours, you know, or, or make somebody else's recipe, right? The recipe calls for a half a cup of fresh parsley minced. We have one cup of plain breadcrumbs. I'm just using plain breadcrumbs because we're doing the seasoning on our own. And then I have two cups of homemade chicken stock. I didn't do a recipe video yet on this. You don't have to have your own homemade stock. My stock I always make with barely any salt in it, guys. Like nothing, because I'm gonna season this up to where I want it. That's kind of the one advantage of having this versus if you buy, use a chicken base or you buy store-bought one, they put a lot of sodium in it for it to taste good. And then we have the half a cup of dry white wine, which is just gonna make it better. Get your oven set at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and you can set the rack in the middle, you can also put one towards the top because we'll do a little bit of broiling at the end. This is really simple. You're gonna love them. I just have a nonstick pan here. Just, you just want a pan large enough to fit your stuffing in, which isn't that much. I'm gonna turn this to about medium to a little bit less than medium, probably like a four out of 10. And since this is a nonstick pan, we can just start putting our oil and garlic in right away. If you were using a stainless pan, you would wanna heat it up first. I'm gonna put down about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. You could also use regular olive oil. I'm going to put in that garlic. So since we have minced garlic here, it's gonna get golden very quickly. So make sure you keep your eye on it the whole time. It's only gonna take a couple minutes, but we wanna get a little bit of golden color on this. If you don't want hot red pepper, don't use it. I'm gonna put about a quarter teaspoon in there. Just let that mix in there for a second. Let it hit the oil and get fragrant. All right, just, that's it, 20 seconds. And then here are our three quarter cup of minced mushroom stems, where we cut off that very, very end of the stem. So mix this through here. There's gonna be water in these stems like they are in all mushrooms, so that's gonna kind of stop your garlic from burning here at all. And we're gonna let these mushrooms cook till they release a little bit of their water, and then we will move on to getting the rest of our stuffing mixture in. You can see how much water is in the pan here, and that's just from the mushroom stems releasing it. Just let them cook until most of that water evaporates. As long as the mushrooms are cooked enough, I have a half a cup of dry white wine. I am using uh, Sauvignon Blanc, I think, but it doesn't matter, just use a dry white wine. You could turn up the heat a little bit here. I was on a four out of 10, maybe knock it up to like a six or a seven. And we're just gonna let this reduce by about half. Probably take about two minutes. That's been about a minute and a half. I'm gonna put the chicken stock in. I'm only putting in a half cup of it. So the remaining one and a half cups is gonna be for the juice that we make for our stuffed mushrooms. And that's not exact guys. If we need more, more of that later on, we'll just use a little bit more. This is one cup of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna mix that in. That's why we have a lot of liquid here, guys. If we didn't have a lot of liquid, the breadcrumbs would be really dry for our stuffing, and we don't want that. If we are too dry, we'll just add a little bit more liquid. That's all we have to do. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. This is like about almost three quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Use about a half a cup now in here, and then the rest of it we can uh, use for topping the mushrooms later. So the recipe calls for three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna use exactly three tablespoons. You know, sometimes you have a lemon that's like super juicy and you get six tablespoons out of it. That's gonna add some more liquid in there as well. And then put in most of the parsley, and that's about a half a cup. And then we're gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. How do I know it's one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt? I just do. That's one, and that's about one and a half. So let's mix this all in. It's so, it smells so fresh already from the parsley. It smells really good. All right, I removed it from the heat, guys. I mixed it fairly well. I'm gonna taste it. This is the most important thing right here. This is your opportunity to add more cheese, salt, pepper, lemon juice, anything you want. That tastes delicious with the lemon juice. If you think you're a little dry here and this is, yeah, it's a tiny bit dry, maybe a tiny bit on the dry side, you can just loosen it up with a little bit of the stock. And I'll put a little bit more extra virgin olive oil in there too. Let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. If you've been following me, by now you've heard me talk about the amount of time I spend sitting at my desk. A 10 minute long video on how to make pasta actually takes about 12 hours to edit. And I keep reading articles about the risks of sitting for too long, that it can lead to an increased risk of diabetes, heart attack, or stroke. So it's time for a change, and that's where FlexiSpot comes in. FlexiSpot offers a wide range of ergonomic products for your home and office, including desks that allow you to sit or stand. I've been using the FlexiSpot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7 model and absolutely love it. Not only was it incredibly easy to assemble, but anytime I need a break from sitting, I get up and with a touch of a button, I'm able to adjust the desk to the perfect standing height. I especially love to stand when I record voiceovers and in meetings because my voice projects better and I feel more productive and creative. The kids love it for homework since they're sitting all day in school. And I also love the built-in USB port that allows me to charge my devices. So guys, if you've been thinking about changing your home office setup to help promote better health and productivity, there's no better time than now now because FlexiSpot has some incredible Black Friday sales taking place where you can get up to 50% off. And for this exact desk, the E7, there'll be a flash sale on Black Friday, November 25th, where you can get $160 off, then $120 off for the days thereafter. Click on my link in the description below and check out FlexiSpot today. Thank you, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring today's video. So we're gonna stuff these up. I have this baking dish that I think will fit them all. If it doesn't, we'll just use another dish. Since we're dealing with such small mushrooms, I'm gonna use a small spoon. I just like to kind of press it in there and maybe mound a little bit on top. And you could stuff them over the pan so most of your stuffing falls back into your pan, but don't worry because we are gonna put a little bit, if we have a little bit of the leftover stuffing, we'll put it in here with the juice. My wife's in the background making fun of me for saying juice, but who says the juice all the time? Your mom. My mom, right? I just the juice, she says the juice when it's like a steak, when it's, when it's clams, when it's whatever it is, you know? No matter how many times I do this, I always have a little bit uh, of stuffing, and sometimes I'll have a lot of stuffing left over. It's, it's, it's a lot of it's the size of the mushrooms that you're using. We're pretty good here. I had to get a second baking dish. If you use the stuffing mushrooms, you're gonna have a lot less mushrooms. You're gonna have a lot of stuffing per mushroom. I have one and a half cups left of chicken stock, low sodium chicken stock, but I'm probably gonna need more because I gotta do both dishes here. So if you do end up doing two dishes, you might need a little bit more. If you don't have any more on hand, you can mix a little bit of water in there. You can put a little bit of wine, anything like that. When you pour this in here, you don't wanna be over the mushroom top. And you can just take a little bit of this stuffing mixture and put a couple bits in there, maybe a couple tablespoons per baking dish. Okay, so we have that last bit of cheese. If you don't have enough, just grate more on top. I like to put a little bit on top of each one. One question you might be asking, um, you know, did I not season the inside of the mushrooms? You could do that too, a little bit of salt. Normally when you're doing veggies, it's a good thing, but with this, it's normally all right if you don't. Okay, I'm just gonna drizzle just a touch more of this olive oil on top of each one. And if you want an even bigger wine flavor, I would add about a quarter cup more of wine into the broth of, of each one here and get it in. So we're gonna do it for about 20 to 25 minutes until these mushrooms are tender. Then what I like to do is turn, bring them up to the top about one level below the top of where your broiler is and hit the broiler up until the breadcrumbs get nice and toasty, but you need to watch it the whole time. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. So here they are. They took about 22 to 24 minutes. 
You can finish them off with more parsley if you like. You can even grate more cheese and you wanna serve it with some lemons on the side too. So let's uh, get the taste tester down to see what he thinks. Hello, Mr. Taste Tester. Hello. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah, you're looking better than me. I can finally see. <laughs> we were gonna both get haircuts together today, but I couldn't because I was doing these videos and he's lucky he got one. You look awesome. Thanks. Okay, you ready for uh, some food? Yeah. All right. So I think you're gonna love these. I let them cool down for a long time so they wouldn't be piping hot for you. And I think I'll set you up with about three of them, but don't feel the need to eat all three of them right now. Can I just have two? Yeah, well, I'll just give you a small ones and I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid on there for you too. Thank you. Looks good. You want lemon? Uh, Let's yeah, go. sure. Let's I'll have one without. All right, have one without. Oh, it tastes delicious. Mm. I love mushrooms. Um, no, actually, it doesn't need lemon. It doesn't need lemon. No. You like the amount of lemon in there? Yeah. Mm. All right, well, I'll let you eat them all before you uh, do a little scoring. Wow. I'm gonna take a breath. All right, I'm not. I'm so not is looking. this gonna be served as like an appetizer or a meal? This would be an appetizer. Okay. I'm definitely not looking. So I'm gonna score it as an appetizer. Okay. <laughs> score it as an appetizer. This guy's tough. Okay, I got my. All answer. right, you put it down. All right. All right. Why don't you tell me a little bit first before you turn so, it on me? So, it's okay. like. It's wait. I'm gonna show the camera, but not you. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> don't look at the camera. I won't. Okay. So. It tastes like, I don't know, it just tastes so good. But like, I was gonna, I was gonna say like, it wouldn't be a good meal. If it was a meal, I'll give it like a seven, but I, I gave it a nine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, James. Because it just tastes so good. Well, thank you. And I love mushrooms. I appreciate that. Yep, yep, okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> They're, they've been cool for a while. If don't do that with a regular uh, one out of the oven or you'll be in uh, some pain. You. Thanks, buddy. That was the quickest rating review ever. So he left the building. Would you like to try, Mama? Would you like to try one? That was like a 30 second review by him and he loved it, but we're gonna let you try him too to see what you yeah, think. I've been smelling them the whole time. It's not fair to not let me. Yeah. Not let me try. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the same <coughs> yeah, plate. Yeah, of course. It's my son. Of course. It doesn't matter if I use the same plate as him. It doesn't matter if it's not your son. No. Well, it's just, it matters for people on I, here who are just like, no. they, get, they get mad, they get upset I wouldn't use a everything. stranger's plate. Yeah. Or <laughs> some family member's plates I wouldn't share. But. Well, definitely some family members, I agree with you. <laughs> but as James showed you, they're cool, so you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really good. You got the cheese in there, the lemon. What do you think? Like, does it need more of something? Garlic? No, the garlic is good. The lemon is good, but I love lemon, so yeah. I'm adding a little bit more. It's perfectly crisp on top. I love it. Yeah. Mm. What do you think it got? You agree with James? I give it a 10. All right, thank you. Because it's perfect. I wouldn't change anything. Thank you. All right, well, there you have it, guys. I hope you make this. This is one of our recipes that we do for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. We, we, do, we break these out a lot, and this is like a really basic one, but it's a delicious one. Add whatever you want to it to make it your own, right? I also think this is a good recipe for kids who are interested in yes. cooking to learn how to cook because it is pretty easy, aside from like the broiler part. Yeah, yeah, the, the adult will do that part, mm -hmm. but yeah, everything else, uh, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. See you next time.